Hi and welcome to this video. This is Piero, Technical Director of SecPoint, and I'm going to introduce the new features of Penetrator 22. The first and most evident change we made is the new user interface, which has been renewed and made more user-friendly. The menu has been moved to the left side and has been unified with the advanced menu. We also added some icons to the top-level menu items. Then we can see here a link to the VIP lounge. If you click here, you will be directly logged in the VIP lounge where you can manage the information of your account and of your penetrator unit. Another thing to notice on the home page is that we have grouped all the PDF icons into a floating menu. Then we have added a select all checkbox in all the main lists and we have added a link to the latest available firmware video in the system messages area. This link will automatically change whenever a new video is available. We also improved the statistics page by speeding up the page load and by making the list itself better and more complete. Moreover, the list now contains only the IPs that are available for a statistics, which means all the IPs that have been scanned at least twice and not in the same day. Another interesting feature is the Edit Schedule function, which allows to edit an existing scheduled scan. If you go to the list of scheduled scan, you can see the list and the schedule on the list itself. If you want to change it, you can click on the schedule name and change the predefined schedule. So I can change this schedule to daily and that's it. I have changed my schedule. Next function to show is the website certificate upload. To manage secure HTTP sessions, the penetrator uses its own certificate, which has not been issued by a certification authority. For this reason, web browsers may issue a warning when you log in to the penetrator for the first time. To avoid this warning, you may use this function to upload a certificate issued by a certification authority by just going to system, site certificate and browse to your hard disk to upload a certificate and I key file. Then you click OK to upload these two files and these two files have been uploaded and now the penetrator is going to use this new certificate. Here you can see the validity of the certificate. This is useful because when the certificate is about to expire you need to renew it. It's important to notice that the penetrator will only allow you to upload the certificate if the remaining validity is at least one day. Last thing I want to show you is in the Wi-Fi menu here in the list of wireless scans which by the way is the home page for the light penetrator we can see the percent complete for a previous WPS attack. When a WPS brute force attack has been interrupted Next time it is resumed, it usually takes some time for the penetrator to connect again to the remote access point. And during this period, the penetrator is usually not able to show the percent that has been reached on the new attack. So we are going to show the percent we reached with the previous attack until the penetrator connects again with the remote access point. Next feature is in the list of detected networks. 
Here we can see that depending on the signal strength, we are going to show the strength in a color that gradually changes from green to red. And when we stop scanning and select a network to attack, we can see that the description of the type of attack is hidden and can be shown if needed by just clicking on the title. I invite you to read the release notes document that you can download from our website where you can find the complete list of features of this release. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.